Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at some videos and trying to figure out what's happening in them. Yeah, we I well I found some vid. What's going on with my voice? I found these videos on the internet, and today we're going to assess them and see if we can decipher how these situations came to be. So uh, let's do it. This is what is happening in these videos. Number two. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm already sweaty. Hey, what's up? Now let's start with this one that was uh, titled as Please Be Staged. Tried to take a photo at the Renaissance Fair and this happened. Hello, my lady, and welcome to the Renaissance Fair. My name is, is King Eric Aragak. Wait, sorry. And I was wondering if you'd like to be my princess for the day. I am very interested in your beauty fun. Photo? Can you actually just take a photo of us? Just photo? photo? What is that? I don't actually know what that is because it is the year 1309. What is this? Uh, some sort of mirror into the future? Mm. I'm oh. <laughs> this was at a renaissance fair. They were just trying to take a picture and I'm sorry to say I don't think it's staged actually. It could be, but they are very good actresses and actors if it is staged. Or maybe the guy coming up just you know, was trying to play a prank on him, but I'm starting to think, and I'm not trying to be rude, but that guy does just kind of seem like he, he might be on the spectrum a little bit. Like, have you ever seen the show on Netflix, Love on the Spectrum, where they get two people on the spectrum to date? And this is kind of the energy that you get in those dates. I think this guy is just enjoying his life, and he's at the Renaissance Fair, he's really in character, and maybe when he's in character, he feels more able to approach women like this. Look, I respect this guy for having the balls to go up and shoot his shot, even if he did get shut down. He went for it, all right? I respect it, yeah. Let's just respect the attempt and not the outcome. I mean, he was respectful. He was nice. He was a few centimeters away from uh, poking her boob, which would have been sexual assault, and that's not cool. Oh, here's a little life hack for you via TikTok. Wait, holy shit. You mean... I've been drinking my ice cream with a straw like a pilgrim. What did they do back in the day when there were no freezers and it was just like ice? Was ice cream even really a thing? There was no ice cream back then? This is obviously a joke, okay? I'm sure this guy is just doing these fake little life hack videos. Unless he really did truly just discover not to keep his ice cream in the cupboard, then, uh... I don't think he should be living by himself. Do they have to deflate those once they board? What are you talking about? They can't deflate those. Those are all natural, clearly. What is happening right now? Please, I'm not trying to body shame, but I need those to be checked for devices, all right? I think they're trying to smuggle some illegal stuff onto that plane. There's probably puppy dogs in there. Yeah, illegal pit fighting puppy dogs smuggled in those balloon butts. Or maybe this is just plastic surgery gone wrong. I don't know. I just know this flight, wherever it's going, there is a fetish shoot happening in that country. Or they're leaving the country where a fetish shoot just happened. I don't know. Or maybe they're just living their lives, or maybe they just put these on for the video and they're not even boarding a flight. I don't know. And you know they didn't get a double seat, all right? You know that they just bought one seat per person. They're gonna sit in the middle of two people and they're gonna have one butt cheek on each person. Ugh. Anyway, it's just too much, all right? But if you think it looks good and if if whoever you're trying to impress with that thinks it looks good, then more power to you. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't change my life at all. Unless I'm sitting next to you on an airplane. Here's number four. Another life hack. This is not where I saw this video going. I thought she was either just gonna leave the trash can on her head and continue her work, or I thought she was gonna go into some sort of headstand situation, but she was actually trying to do something practical. She was just trying to open a garbage bag in the only way she knows how. Although she does look a little drunk, because that little like over the head like snap snap thing was like, I looked a little tipsy like, here we go again, putting a trash bag on my head. I'm surprised she didn't start panicking and rolling around. And I also want to say I'm very concerned about this guy's back. You know, if you pause the video right here, you can see he's using some support in the front and some support in the back. Damn, this guy needs some lumbar support on his chair. Please, will someone buy this man some lumbar support? Say whatever you want. I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks. But I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. And 
You can sit on this plane and you can fucking die with them or not. I'm not going to. That person's not real? Who's not real? The stewardess back there? What if the person you're pointing to has some sort of mental issues or a complex like you clearly do? You clearly have mental issues. This woman clearly has mental issues. If this is what she truly believes, she needs to get off the plane, take her medication, and try the next flight. But what if the person you're pointing at also has some mental issues and they're, you're telling them they're not real and they're like, holy shit, maybe I'm not real, and then they start panicking. You're just trying to cause panic on an airplane. What if everybody just started really believing you and was like, that person person's not real. Holy shit. I was kind of convinced they weren't real and then she said it. Look, you don't know what people are going through. Everybody might have just believed you right then. Then you got a mass hysteria situation going on where everybody thinks nobody's real and they all just, well, let's face it, everyone's just gonna get naked. It's like everyone's go-to, right? They're like, no rules, nothing, I'll get naked. Maybe it's just my go-to, I don't know. Anyway, that's the video. We discovered a few things today, maybe. Maybe you discovered something about yourself. Maybe not. I don't really care. Let's just uh, just come up to your screen real quick. I have a secret to whisper to you. <gasps> Boop.